Well, if you're a fan of true crime, have we got a show for you, and it's hosted by an acclaimed investigative journalist. Yes, joining us now, we're going to talk about her two-hour special called Who Killed My Son? It is Soledad O'Brien. Thank you for being here. We both have always been big fans of yours. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's an interesting case to talk about. It so is. I have, uh, you know, I was watching Love. I watched both hours, Soledad. I was so, uh, so drawn in. And, you know, Lovely said, the mother of this slain boy, she said at the end, she said, for every two steps forward, she took f they took four steps and put her backwards. This, to give us a little synopsis of the story and tell us what was happening. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a very good description. And imagine the frustration. So Lovely is the mother of a young man named Praveen Varagis. And Praveen goes to a house party, 2014, never is seen alive again. Uh, five days later, they find his body and police tell uh, Lovely, the mother, well, you know, he probably got lost in the woods and disoriented and, and died of exposure to the elements. And and she's a nurse. So she says, well, look at his face. There's there's bruising around his face. Like, clearly there was some kind of an attack. It turns out there's a man who says that Praveen had been in his car and they got into a fight, which I think for most people would raise red flags mm -hmm. about, hey, maybe a suspect. Uh, but police are very slow to to first call him a suspect, to bring him in and really question him for the murder of Praveen. And every step of the way, it's lovely who has a lovely name, but is kind of more like a pit bull and trying to push the investigation forward. It's almost like investigators and police and the prosecution are all very reluctant to aggressively go after Praveen's killer. And it's, you know, if it hadn't been for Lovely and her partner, she eventually uh, connects with a, as you know, a radio host who, who also is doing interviews and helping figure out what happened to her son who, who killed him. Yeah. It's so unimaginable to imagine losing a child and then to not know how this happened. What did you uncover about the legal system as you unraveled the story? You know, I've uncovered, I guess, what I think a lot of people know about the legal system. And, and, and Lovely says it very clearly. You know, she feels that if things had been reversed, if in fact her son had been the suspect mm -hmm. in the case. If, if the suspect were a young black or brown man and the victim were a young white man, that police would be more aggressive in how they handled the case. And, and I think she sees evidence of that every step of the way where she basically has to deliver evidence. She has to do her own autopsy. She has to get eventually access to the files and point out some of the discrepancies and, and mistakes investigators are making. And so I think she feels like there is bias in the system. And, and I, I think a lot of people feel that way, especially people of color, when you look at how, um, how they're treated in the criminal justice system. It's so, you know, it, she gets so close and then she finally gets the conviction and then he's finally going to get sentenced and then it gets ripped out of her hands. I, you know, I don't want to give the whole thing away, but it, <laughs> it's, I think I just did. The twist, I apologize. right? It, mm, it, the it, twist is crazy. The twist the, is just The twist crazy. is, no, it's really, you're right. Because there is a twist that's insane as and, and she's exactly right. Steps forward. And then all of a sudden there's a system that keeps forcing them backwards. But you know what I have appreciated about Lovely? And I knew this from the moment we met that she just never gives up, that she's just very aggressive about being very focused on trying to figure out what happened to her son and bringing her son's killer to justice. And because of that, I never worry about how this is going to end. Okay. Is there hope that this reporting that you're doing, is it changing things at all? I think anytime you can bring more uh, public awareness to any case, it, what ends up happening, and, and Lovely does this during the documentary, we can watch it unfold, she just brings so much public awareness that at some point you almost like shame prosecutors into having to, yeah. to be more aggressive or do the right thing or or bring more attention to the case. So, yeah, I've always felt that in any story that I did, when you bring attention, that that's a good thing. And, you know, if, if I, I want to talk about Monica Zukas for for a bit. She is uh, as much as a pit bull as lovely is. How far do you think the case would have gotten without her attention and her putting her aside her own biases? 
essential, right? It was Monica who really ultimately in a way acting as an investigator as she takes her radio show and does interviews and gets more information about the case. She's essential. And I think she also, with her friendship with Lovely, kind of bolsters them in sort of agreeing to fight this fight that at some point seems almost impossible. How do you fight a system? Right. Well, you know, between Monica and Lovely, the, the two pit bulls, yeah, you really see women who are just dedicated in trying to figure it out and get answers. You know, Tara and I normally prepare a bunch of questions for our host, and we didn't get to ask you anything personal or about your career, and we apologize for that, but we're so fascinated by the story. We hope you'll come back one day where we can just chat. <laughs> Anytime. I love just chatting about myself. What could be more fun for me? <laughs> Isn't that what all good journalists do? <laughs> You're terrific. Thank you so much. Right? Right? All right. Thank you. Nice so to chat. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. You know, they're really doing so many great things on Discovery+. You, Plus. Tara, you have to watch the show. I, I'm going to finish watching. You, I went, you but now you watch the whole two hours, I so it. I it's need amazing. to see the end. I have goosebumps. Um, so it streams on Discovery Plus today, and you can catch up more with Soledad tonight on People TV. V. Right hear more here. about that. And that's right here on Channel 3 at 7.30. Discovery Plus is really establishing some good programming. Uh, huh? It's amazing. All right, uh, the Oprah's Soul Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Now. Actually, it's not even Sunday anymore. It's just Soul. Soul. Yeah, Soul.